You show up every single day with a passion in your heart. You lead, you challenge, you train, you teach, you mentor, you measure and go to meetings. And at the end of the day, you realize nothing's changed. You still have people turning over. You've still got people blaming one another. Why? When I rejoined the civilian world, I worked for a cabinet shop in northern Utah. And in just three years, we grew the business from $5 million to $20 million by applying the principles and the practices that I learned in the Marines. I was always a top performer. Medals, awards, promotions, advanced training opportunities. But eventually I began to plateau as a leader. And that's because I was trying to do everything myself and just have my Marines do one thing, follow orders. Your God-given and natural talents, the skills and abilities that you've honed over the years, all of the lessons poured out by a mentor into you are not for your benefit. It's for the benefit of the people who you lead and who you serve. When your team wins, you win. According to the most recent SHRM or HR data, nine out of 10 employees say they have zero, zero passion for their work. Eight out of 10 senior managers don't and fully half of employees plan on looking for a new job within the next year. So I'm laying here in this field hospital after getting shot and blown up, taking some shrapnel. And I look over and there are these two Marines that were also in a propane tank IED explosion. And one of them's probably not gonna make it. And I think to myself, maybe I'm not having such a bad day. I've been shot. I've been in explosions, I've taken shrapnel. I should have died so many times in Iraq and Afghanistan. But heaven had other plans for me. Most leaders fail to see lasting results for two reasons. One, they don't know how to properly delegate. And two, they don't replicate. Half of my time in the Marines was spent training people on how to use rockets and missiles and machine guns, but the other half was taking some poor 18-year-old who just married a dancer from Vegas named Cinnamon and teaching him how to do a budget and how to be a father. I boiled down all of the lessons, the academies, the courses, the combat leadership experience into a simple process called the 4E process. Educate, evaluate, equip, and encourage. Everything, everything that you do as a leader should revolve around the success of the team. You exist to serve the people who you lead. How are you doing as a leader?